Saturday and officially three weeks out. I am, of course, doing cardio. Skylar came with me this morning. I gotta smash out some cardio, a little bit of hammies and glutes, but still being cautious about my lower back. And then we're gonna go for a hike. nutrients and it needs carbohydrates it needs energy so I wanted to go on the hike and enjoy it and not die so I had an energy bar and changed my life for the day now I'm just gonna continue moving put forward a pep, pep in a step. put a lot of pep in my step don't you think I agree 100%. yeah uh, so it's a Saturday night going home passing out that's Saturday yep that's a typical Saturday for us though if Skylar's not working if I'm not at a nightclub all night DJing. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm at the store picking up a couple things for Skylar and me. And it is 6.30 on a Saturday night. And all I can think about is how I need to like go lay down because tomorrow I have a very long day. I gotta go do an hour of cardio. I have to do a workout. I have to transit out to where my coach is. And just thinking about doing that and the amount of energy that I have these days like seems like it's gonna destroy me. One big takeaway is that having body fat means you actually have energy stores. You have energy stores. And right now, because I'm so low body fat, I actually have no energy stores. So I'm getting everything, all my energy from my food and I'm not getting a lot of food. So my energy obviously is very limited. And anything extra that I do is like takes it right out of me. And just the thought of walking home, it's about six blocks. I just can't imagine how I'm gonna make it. It's like Mount Everest right now. I'm headed to the gym 
just woke up about an hour and a half ago. My strategy with working out on the weekends right now is to just get up and go to the gym, get it over with, so that I can still have some kind of morning with Skylar. So they're just hanging out at home right now, having coffee and watching documentaries, all cozy. And I'm off to do my workout. My friend is having a little Oscars viewing party. I haven't watched a single movie because honestly I just haven't had time to do that but made some black bean brownies made with coconut oil gluten free dairy free and uh, they're like my favorite thing ever so I made them for everyone else to enjoy and I gotta go to my check-in today I gotta go to posing class it's about an hour and a half in transit one way so that's most of my day today and then I uh, will see my friends at the party so first stop El Gimnasio so phase one of my ridiculous day is completed one hour of cardio now it's back in biceps all right commencing phase two or three I don't even know at this point I have food bag packed and I'm on my way now to my check-in and posing class. Thankfully, it's not raining. There's always something to be thankful for and I just feel like for most of my vlogs, I've lucked out with the weather. A lot of people seem to want to argue with me about it being a mild winter in Vancouver, but I mean, come on. Look at it. Wonderful. just got off the bus, got my meal here that I gotta eat because I feel like I'm gonna pass out and die. And hopefully, just like in tradition of every week after posing, I hope I feel way better. Because that's usually what happens after I meet with my coaches. I feel really excited again. So right now I'm just feeling tired and hungry as to why I'm doing this to myself. Guys, this is how I look before posing class. Very profesh. Now just wait for it. As per usual, I feel so much better about everything. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness for my coach and his wife. Um, Brandon and Don, they're amazing. I had a wonderful experience with all the other competitors as always. Just feeling super motivated because we are so close and I'm just gaining a lot of perspective about what's realistic about my body and like what's achievable by diet and exercise and what's, you know, kind of just what I have to accept about my body and it's actually liberating but we'll talk about that more later now I'm on my way back to Vancouver to an Oscar party full of amazing snacks and booze bus right now I finished work but I generally will walk to the gym from the train but I can't do it so I jumped on the bus or I feebly crawled onto the bus to get a ride up to my gym to try and conserve energy because I feel like all my activities yesterday have completely depleted me I felt sort of like I was gonna die all day so far and all I want to do is go and lay down in my bed off to finish my cardio, do a leg workout, go home and lay down. It's my Monday right now. I think I left off vlogging that I felt like I was gonna die. So I survived. I finished my leg workout. I actually somehow caught a second wind when I got to the gym and managed to get through it not so bad. But pretty much majority of the time I am just exhausted and also no patience 
and no ability to handle any kind of stress or conflict. Of course, after I zapped myself at the gym, Skylar lovingly came and picked me up and then we went to the grocery store and then I got mad at them for buying mayonnaise. I can't really tell you my reasoning behind it, but it really bothered me. <laughs> this has been a really tough uh, challenge for our relationship because one, we don't get to spend as much time together. I'm consumed by cardio and weightlifting and I can't share meals with Skylar. We can't go for dinner. They can't cook for me. Things like that, not even breakfast on weekends, anything. So there's that, the time part, the quality connection. Also, I'm just too tired to do anything. We like to play board games sometimes at night, hang out, go for walks. I have no desire or energy to do any of that. I basically lay on the couch and sloth and eat until bed. And it's tough for Skylar to watch that because, you know, they want me to be like bouncing around energetically, excited about life. And the last few weeks especially, it's been really tough, so. Thank goodness they married me before this. <laughs> it's Wednesday, it's Wednesday. 17 more days. Every single day, I'm counting out the days. Curious if you are watching this, if you want to comment below if this is something that you are potentially interested in doing yourself, a fitness competition, whether it be bikini, figure, bodybuilding. Is this something that you are wanting to pursue after seeing what you've seen so far? I know that I watched a ton of different channels on YouTube and followed a lot of people on Instagram and was really inspired by those people to give this experience a try. Just curious if this has either inspired anybody to want to give it a try or if it's like done the opposite, let me know in the comments below. Hey guys, so it is Friday and I've missed an entire day of vlogging because I left my phone at home yesterday morning when I went to work and I just kind of embraced that opportunity to really be present for the day, not record anything and just focus on my job and the gym and myself. The last while now it's been a mental struggle really to get through each day. My energy levels are all over the place. One hour I'll feel fully capable to handle life and the next I'm barely able to stand up or think straight. But yesterday being unplugged from social media actually kind of revitalized me a little bit. I think just putting the focus back on what I'm doing and, and why I want to do it. Walking to the gym even, my legs feel shaky. I feel like I could just sit down right here and that's it. Um, so it's really, that's why it becomes such a mental challenge. And I have been weighing myself and I have dropped a significant amount of weight in a short period of time, which does not shock me because I know what I've been eating and the exercise that I've been doing. So the gym is done and it was shoulders, which is one of my favorite workouts. Still is after all these years and months specifically. I've also developed a bit of a strategy when it comes to my hunger and that is that I try and delay eating dinner till as late as possible because I'm one of those people that likes to eat late at night and snack. So after the gym I have a protein shake aka my protein powder and water and then I try to run some errands on my way home from the gym so that when I do get home, it's fairly late and basically I just have enough time to eat my two meals and go to bed because I cannot go to bed hungry. If I have hunger pains, I cannot sleep and it's just not good. So right now I'm just running a couple errands before I go home. It's already like six o'clock and then I'll just eat my two meals and hopefully go to sleep. That's my Friday. So I just took the bus up the hill like six blocks because I just did not want to deal with walking uphill, which is pretty sad. 
But I think I'm just gonna wrap up this week's vlog. I'm pretty sure there's not much to it, but that's kind of what the reality of prep is for me right now. It's just basically getting through each day and it's very repetitive and regimented and restricted and I just have tunnel vision or I'm trying to, to the goal, to the finish line. My next video, I plan to do a physique update and comparison from week 16 to being one week out. Stay tuned for that. If you haven't already, just hit subscribe and then you will be notified when that video comes out. If you want to, you can give my videos a thumbs up if you like them. And please comment below if you have any questions or comments about what you're seeing, what you want to see in future videos. I am an open book and happy to share. So good night everyone and I'll see you in the next video.